Oh, you know, hey, how about some football weather? Yes, yes, yes some sir. Real football weather. She's smiling, but she's really Because they keep rubbing it in. <laughs> like, we'll get there. Don't yeah, rush me. Football. Yeah, well, it's on the way. Well, I do want to jump ahead just quickly to next week because the pattern is going to be uh, promoting uh, much cooler temperatures here. This will be the middle and latter half of the upcoming week. Uh, we are very well going to be below, if not much below average. And what's interesting is that the trough and the jet stream that brings this to us will play a role eventually in what happens to Hurricane Lee, which is still a very strong Category 4 hurricane. Had a 160 mile per hour max wind earlier today. It's down to 150. That is still very strong. The latest national hurricane forecast here takes it north of Puerto Rico. We will wait and see where the turn eventually happens, and that will be key to what type of impacts the East Coast will have. Now, uh, what's going on right now, if you are heading to the Indians game or if you're heading down to the concert, just going to be downtown or anything outside, uh, just know, just like yesterday, there's a few showers that have popped up with this cloud cover. Cloud cover that's thinned out on the eastern half of the state, still overcast west and northwest. Here in the metro area, we are seeing a bit of both. We're at 73, dew points below 60. So it's pleasant air that's around. Uh, forecast for this afternoon, this evening, some spotty rain chances and uh, you can see the temperatures cooling off nicely. We'll be in the 60s by 9 10 o'clock. Some spots are already there as we go into tomorrow. We'll keep in that slight chance of a shower and then warming up for a cold Sunday. We've got you at 82 for a high to wrap up the weekend.